We have a huge expose here from the Washington Post. They say that the Donald J. Trump Foundation, which many people, including myself for a long time, didn't even know existed, but the Donald J. Trump Foundation, quote, a nearly 20-year-old charity group founded by the Republican presidential nominee is allegedly little more than a scam operation that uses people's money to donate to other charity groups while benefiting the wealthy businessman and allowing him to take all the credit for himself. Okay, that sounds exactly like something Donald Trump would do. Uh, and understand... So, there are there some people on the left, and I've noticed this recently, who use stories like this to try to cover up the shit that's fucked up with the Clinton Foundation. Yes. So, there's a lot of deflection and whataboutery going on here. That's not the argument I'm making. <laughs> Believe me, nobody has covered the Clinton Foundation in more detail than I have, and nobody understands that it's pay-to-play, flat-out corruption more than I do. Okay, I've probably covered it more than anybody. So you don't have to sell me on the idea that the Clinton Foundation is a disaster and Hillary Clinton is massively corrupt. Given. <laughs> Given. Believe me, I know. So, but that doesn't mean that, oh, well now, the Donald Trump's foundation, there's nothing creepy that happened there at all and no, no corruption there at all. Wait for it. So they say Trump's foundation, which was set up in 1987, hasn't even received a donation from the man it is named after since 2008. The guy sets up a charity foundation, and he's like, charity? <laughs> I don't do charity. Thanks, but no thanks. <laughs> Who does that? On several occasions, Trump used other people's money donated to his namesake charity in order to personally benefit. For 250 charities contacted by the Post, donations that Trump claimed to have made could not be successfully located. Okay. This is the oldest trick in the book, and we called it out the last time Donald Trump did it, and what did I tell you? I told you, oh, this is his M.O., this is what he does. So, he'll go around everywhere, he'll start raising money, and he'll, he'll always say something like, well, what we're gonna do is we're gonna give it to charity. Remember even with the Bernie debate, when he was teasing the Bernie debate, he's like, yeah, of course, but if we gotta raise, let's say like seven million for charity, that's what we gotta do, gotta raise money for charity, gotta raise money for charity, tremendous, believe me, let me just tell you, raise money for charity. So this is what he does. He goes everywhere and he says this. Um, remember when he skipped the debate? What did he say? Oh, well, we're going to raise money for veterans and it, it, it's a charity. That's what we're going to do. We're going to raise... Now, remember, he claimed... I forgot what the number was. Eight million or so dollars that he was supposed to raise for charity. Uh, they said that's what they were going to raise. They only donated like a million dollars. Now, look, you still raise a million dollars for charity. You want me to give you credit for that? Of course I'm going to give you credit for that. But if you say I'm going to raise eight million and you raise one million, what happened after that? The media went to him they're like, hey, dude... You said you were going to raise way more than you actually raised. What's up, dog? Where's the rest of the money? He's like, oh, I don't know what you're talking about. Tremendous, believe me. Let me just tell you. We're going to raise money for the veterans. Let me just tell you. So, uh, they did some investigative reporting. They called a lot of the charities that, that Trump said he donated to. They're like, we didn't get a check. We didn't get a check. We don't know what you're talking about. So, what did Trump do? He, only, he paid out a tiny percentage of the money... Nobody knows where the rest of the money went initially, slash maybe in their bank account. And then when the media started running the stories of, oh shit, Trump said he was going to give X amount to charity. He didn't give that much to charity. He gave much less. Th that day that they started releasing the articles, he then writes the checks, sends it to them for the amount he said he was going to do. And then he comes out and gives a press conference and starts chastising the media. Uh, you, liars, you're all liars. I told you I was going to give the money. I gave the money. Tremendous, believe me. And they're, they're like, dude, it's dated today. <laughs> the day that you're doing the, the fucking press conference. So it's because he was caught in his scam and his trick that he said, okay, I guess I got to donate to the fucking charities. But beforehand, what had he done? Given a tiny percentage of it and then kept the rest of it. Oh, the ball's on this guy, man. The ball's on this guy. And then again, when he got caught, I'll just write the checks now, and then I'll go out there and chastise the media like they were wrong all along when they weren't. So, that's exactly what's happening here. This is with his own foundation. This is his go-to move. We're gonna raise money for charity. Then other wealthy people give him money. And then, quote, for 250 charities contacted by the Post, donations that Trump claimed to have made 
could not be successfully located. Now look, even at Let's Be Kind to Him, let's say, well, some of it was just a mistake. Okay? How many mistakes were there? 10? 15? 250 charities contacted by the Post. Donations Trump claimed to have made could not be successfully located. Let me give you more. Quote, At a 2007 charity event at Trump's Mar-a-Lago resort, speed painter Michael Israel created a portrait of Trump. Trump's wife, Melania, placed the winning bid of $20,000 for the six-foot portrait. In another example, Trump used foundation funds to place the winning bid on a signed football helmet and jersey from the Denver Broncos quarterback Tim Tebow at a charity event in 2012, paying $12,000 straight out of the foundation's coffers. Now, here's the important part. The IRS prohibits such acts. Donald Trump sets up this charity, Donald J. Trump Foundation, uh, uses it for personal gain and personal benefit, uses $20,000 of funds that's supposed to go to charity to have his wife buy a personal painting of himself. So that's, that's the money from the charity she's using to buy a painting of himself. Uses it to buy other things like, you know, uh, fucking uh, football helmets and shit like that from famous people and jerseys and whatnot. That's not, that's not legal dipshit. That's not legal. You can't raise money from people, say it's going to go to charity, and then do something like that. The IRS prohibits that. But he's Donald Trump. Just like Hillary Clinton, what are they so great at? Break the law, or maybe, you know, skirt just up against the law, <laughs> be right on the, the boundary of what is illegal and illegal, and then somehow get away with it. It's like Trump University. Textbook case of fraud. Textbook case of fraud. I mean, the details of that story are unbelievable. We covered it uh, quite a bit on the show. Uh, and what happens? Well, you know, classic con artist move. You go out there when you're caught red-handed, go on the offense. Go on the offense. So you're caught red-handed doing a fraud university. So you go out there and say, you know, the, the university was tremendous. And by the way, uh, we're thinking about reopening it if uh, the, the campaign... Uh, doesn't end up go. It doesn't end up uh, finishing well. We're gonna reopen Trump University, and it'll be tremendous. People are expressing interest. And by the way, I have thousands of people who said they love Trump University. So how about that? <laughs> the Attorney General of New York is like, dude, fraud. I it's fraud. I have all the evidence right here. Fraud. You know, same thing with Clinton's emails. You know, uh, when you look at intent, they go, oh, her intent was pure, so you can't, you know, throw her in jail or indict her or convict her for, for b playing loose with classified information. The intent was pure with Edward Snowden, but since he played loose with classified information, well, now he's exiled from the country. Chelsea Manning said, I'm re only releasing this information because the American people should know it because we're killing civilians and this is unconstitutional. Purest intentions in the world, we don't care. Lock you up, throw away the key. Decades in prison for you. Hillary Clinton? Okay, so what? I had my own email server, not just email account, email server, and it had worse security than fucking Gmail. And yes, there were emails back and forth that were top secret, classified, this, that. I sent it from inside, uh, you know, hostile countries to the U.S. Bah, what are you going to do? <laughs> was it hacked? Maybe, maybe not. We won't even know if it was hacked because we can't track it, as the FBI said. But you know, whatever, whatever. I didn't, I'm not literally a Russian spy, so let me go. So these guys break the law. And then they get away with it because they just, you know, they override it with confidence or arrogance or just the fact that they're connected. It is grotesque. If average citizens did what Donald Trump does or Hillary Clinton does, they would be in fucking jail. Hence why this election is probably the worst election in U.S. history, and we have two cretinous candidates.